I see my face. Hey, it says I'm live. Hello. Fuck. YouTube changed some shit again. They knew that, man. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell what was going on. I think I'm good now. Hello. Hi. I'm the Splinter Smith. Um, that's my neighbor's dog. It's loud as fuck. So, uh, anyway, I'm <laughs> I woke up late today with a headache and my back killing me. We uh, did a Cub Scout thing this weekend. We, like, went to an aquarium and, uh, oh man, the chat is not visible and the mic was not on. Hopefully I could be heard. We'll see. We'll find out later. Anyway, I did a test video with the mic on, so that should have been good. But it's just the, ch the chat is messed up. Why is the chat messed up? Because oh, I don't have the chat thing. Lord. I got like too, uh. I got in too much of a hurry. Where's my chat with video URL? What the f. Uh. Sorry, I'm still setting up my, my stream stuff. Normally I have this all set up and it's kind of just saved in the background, but all my settings got lost, so I have to set it up from scratch and I kind of forgot how to do all that. So if you're chatting right now, I may not know it. I'm trying to fix it. I promise. Is this better? Nope. Whatever. It says I'm online. I'll just try to <laughs> try to make this work. Anyways, so hi. Where was I? My phone is playing music. Stop playing music. Can't hear. Can't think. So I've got um, still kind of a headache. Oh, that's right. We slept over at at the the aquarium with the Cub Scouts, which means uh, I didn't sleep very well. And then uh, yesterday, that was Friday night, and then yesterday was kind of all a jumble of we like went thrift shopping on the way home, which I have treasures from to show off, so that'll be cool. And then, uh, like, we took naps, which means I s slept till like 9 p.m. <laughs> then we got up, so I slept way too late today, and uh, I don't know, whatever. I'm not doing any work in the shop today, but I do have some things to open that I'm gonna share with y'all. And I've been asked in the past to do uh, a shop tour. So I was like, well, I guess I can do that. And while I'm here, uh, since I'm capable of like looking at the screen and I can keep my computer like uncovered and respond to stuff, I figured if anybody shows up, I'll do Q&A stuff. If you guys want to ask me stuff. So that's where I'm at today. Yep. I brought a water out here. I'm going to find it. There it is. It's way over there. I don't know if I should do the unboxing first or look around the shop. There's not much to see. It's literally a 10 by 10 space, so there's not a lot of hidden nooks and crannies, but whatever. I'm going to kind of like stall a little bit and see if anybody shows up. Whoa. Listen to me. Drinking. Sorry about that. <sighs> Back in the smoke. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to start with some... I'll tell you what, I'll start with the yard sale finds. So I found this giant acacia board uh, from the Philippines. And it says Ray and Polly Brown on the back. So Ray and Polly Brown from somewhere near uh, the coast of North Carolina, Atlantic Beach or so. Uh, if this was your tray, thanks. It's going to be a really rad scimitar soon. I'm going to do like a big sweeping blade up the top, and the handle will be something else, but um, usually finding a piece of wood this wide is, is hard to do, so um, I'll run it through the planer and get the lips off, the lip off, so I can actually work with it, and then yeah, make a big old scimitar, and I might have enough for like a dagger down here, maybe something up there, we'll see. 
that was that was five bucks well spent buried under a bunch of other shit too i was pretty happy about that and then speaking of acacia and cutting boards <laughs> i found this goddamn thing um it looks like this guy actually bought it like a, a tesco or something i don't know like it's got a professional tag on the back but it does tell me that it's acacia so i know it is for sure even though i probably would have been able to figure it out um it's not one solid piece but that's fine I think I'm just going to make pin blanks out of it. It's just, it's very thick. It's probably a good three quarters, if not a little more. So that's enough to, it's wide enough to make pin blanks out of. So I'm going to slice this whole thing down and do pin blanks. I might try to make a couple of knife scales too for knife handles. But anyway, it's a pig. <laughs> it's for charcuterie. Um, maybe I'll do the shop tour. I'll do that later. I'm going to open some stuff. So I got, in the same day, two different bags. And I'm expecting another one. Um, that one is wood that we've seen before. It's from the Shawshank Oak. I broke down and got some more. Um, but these are both from, uh, well, okay. You guys remember the Kingwood? It was the, the arced, you could see the grain of the uh, tree in it. Well, I spent this past, maybe it was, I don't know, some day, time during the week, I made a cigar pin out of the Kingwood uh, blanks. I killed one, it exploded. And then the next one I was more careful with, and I sharpened my tools, and then it, I was, it still, I still broke once, uh, but I glued it back together and it was okay. And then I was able to, anyway, I made a pin. Um, so the guy that I got that from, um, I got a bunch of other wood from him. It's all stabilized and stuff. And I told him just kind of do like a grab bag and throw it together. So he did. So that's one. And then this is from a different guy. Um, he, like, it was just like a person that posted in one of the pen turning groups I'm in, or woodworking group. I don't know, something or other on Facebook. And I was like, hey, that's cool. Uh do you have any other stuff? Can you just, like, do a grab bag? And he goes, oh, yeah, I do grab bags all the time. I, so, that's what I got. <laughs> um, I have some glue on my knife. I just noticed. There we go. All right. So I'm going to start with a little one. I really need to be more diligent about uh, marking addresses and stuff out so that I can't get, so don't, nobody doxes me. But I'll just be careful not to show it to the camera. I don't know why anyone would dox a nice bearded fellow like myself. Jesus, this thing is full. Okay. All right. Well, he said he was going to mark them, so let's see. I mean, it's... Stacked, <laughs> stacked up perfectly. That's great, actually. I love that. Just a small box, perfectly uh, filled up. This dude's out of Tennessee, from Bell Buckle, which is just like a cool town name. Oh, damn. All right, well we'll start with these. Hey, okay, he did mark them. It's just very hard to see. So this is cherry. It looks like I got like two of each. Oh, he did put a business card in. Good. Bored Toad. What a name. There, can we see that? Bored Toad. Chris O'Kane. Custom Wood Products. Bored Toad on Facebook. So go look him up and give him love. For sending me all this rad stuff. It smells great. Mm. Okay, we got some cherry. Uh, good. Nice, nice looking cherry. I can't tell if that's spalting or not. I don't think I've ever seen spalted cherry, so maybe that's what it looks like. It was just some spots. So that's that's something. Damn it. Drop it. Shit. Ugh. What I ought to do is get a marker and remark these while I'm at it. So I don't have to do it all later. Oh, I have so many plans for this year. I can't wait. 
I just, I got to get the shop cleaned up some and organized. You'll see that too when we uh, start to do the this tour, this this alleged tour. Cherry, C H Y. to use a abbreviation system. <sighs> cool. All right, what's next? What do we got next? I'm very excited. This is, I think, walnut. It looks like walnut, and that looks like what he wrote. So yes, we're going to go with walnut. None of these are sanded down, so you can't see the grain super well. Hey, what's up, JW? I'm doing some unboxings, man. How you been? Got lots of walnut here. Yep, there's four of them. Cool. I got plenty of walnut, but I can always use more. Walnut is W N. W N. Okay. Cool. My shop's not getting any bigger. I wish it was. Uh, then I'd have more room for shit. <laughs> Right now it's still small, but uh, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's getting. Uh, I'm getting more tools, more toys. Some Osage. This is easy to identify. It's yellow. I love Osage. It's so dang pretty. And this is great actually because uh, I'm gonna need some Osage soon for a pen that I'm gonna be working on. That might be the subject of next weekend's uh, live stream. Is me making the blank for this pen because it's gonna be. Special. Ooh, persimmon. I've never messed with persimmon. That's pretty sick. It's got holes in it, too. Uh, I'm going to have to fill those with some glue. God, I keep being on the wrong side. But, like, you can see these little... I guess they're beetle holes. They're going to look great. It's got a nice, uh, simple grain to it. It kind of looks like um, china berry. JW, how uh, how audible are the children that are playing in my yard or the next yard over? Ooh, ooh, this is called Ambrosia Maple. I've never seen it either. Man, I turned a piece last night. Forgot what it was, but it was beautiful. I used some pin blanks to make a pipe. I need to make a pipe. That's on my list. Um, I need to figure out the right kind of wood to use for the bowl, uh, and then how to do the stem. As I don't want to do a straight stem, I want to do like a curved one. I want a nice big Gandalf pipe. So I can go to cons and dress up as a wizard. I'm growing this beard out for a reason. So I can be a wizard. A, or a, like a tall dwarf. Anyway, this is going to be a pretty ass pen. I can't wait. Um, I'm going to write Ambrosia on the side, but I'm just going to mark the end of maple. A maple, probably. which means a map. God, I can't write on the end of things. Oh yeah, what is this? Chestnut, sweet. This has got some pretty nice grain to it too. Uh, I'm excited on that. Can't hear them, that's good. They are loud as hell. <laughs> White Elephant, will you build a replica of the Mandalorian's disintegrator rifle? Holy shit. That sounds awesome. Uh, yes is the answer. I've done, I've only done one other firearm, and it was uh, a laser rifle from Fallout. Maybe it might be called a plasma rifle or something, but it's the like kind of square one, and it's got the thing underneath. Like there's a long, I don't know, just a random bar. Oh, the DeLorean, the, the disintegrator rifle. That's, it's a really cool weapon, too. I don't think I'd do it full size just for the hell of it, but I, I might try it as a mini. That's a good idea. That's a very good suggestion. I'm definitely going to have to like look at some schematics. I'll try to find better pictures of it online and stuff. Yeah, it would be hella awesome. You're right. <laughs> God, that would be cool as hell, man. Also, welcome to the channel. I don't know who you are. So, uh, hi. Thanks for coming. Anyway, chestnut. This looks good. I'm going to... 
I don't know what I'm. I've never had chestnut, so I haven't had to uh, abbreviate it. I'm just gonna write chest <laughs> for now until I figure something out. Chess. There we go. Fuck. Now you got me thinking about disintegrator rifles. Now I am. Um, God, this is gonna kind of spoil something I wanted to keep as a surprise for later in the year, but it's all right. No one watches these. So this summer, okay, back up. My favorite Star Wars character of all time is uh, Ahsoka Tano. Um, I really, really love her character arc, and I love where she ended up at the end of, uh, well, at the end of her character arc. I won't say it in case someone needs to watch it. Watch Clone Wars, watch Rebels. They're both really, really good. Anyway, um, Ahsoka Tano's uh, voice actress. Why would you not make it a scale? Because it's huge. It's going to take a lot of work, man. <laughs> I don't have that kind of time. I want to. Fuck, now, now it feels like a challenge. All right. I'll make it to scale. I'll make a huge one. I'll make a giant disintegrator rifle. Probably be easier to make it to, to scale. I'm not going to sign up for it yet. I'm not going to... I'm not going to promise. i got to look at stuff. Anyway. So Ahsoka Tano's voice actress is named Ashley Eckstein. She will be at Supercon in Raleigh this summer, which is the one big con that my family goes to every year. If you wanted to go even more nuts, you could also make a dark saber, but I don't even know how you would do. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't be able to do the blade, but I could do the handle. Anyway, I'm going to make a set of Ahsoka Tano's lightsabers handles uh, to give to Ashley uh, Eckstein. I'm doing that this summer. Um, I'm subbing just to see it happen. Well, shit, if it earned me a sub, then I'm going to do it. Now I, now I have to. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. I just signed up to make another giant build. I don't do big builds very often. I don't have a lot of room. Yeah, I've seen Star Wars 9. I know. I know she's got a little bit in it. Um, so I'm also making a giant Dragonborn sword for a uh, streaming D&D podcast player. Um, I made a scimitar for a different player on that, that same cast um, last year. This year I'm going to make a huge, like, six-foot Dragonborn Buster Sword. I'm making the white ones, yeah. Just the, the handles, though. I mean, I could put some dowels, <laughs> some dowel rods in the end, but... They're not going to glow, and I kind of think that'd be awkward to be like, here you go, here's a long dowel rod with a cool thing on the end. So I'm just going to give her the things. They're going to be pretty good. Uh, I have a method figured out in my head for how I'm going to build them. So so now i got to do a disintegrator rifle. i got to make a dragon board sword. i got to make Eckstein's, uh, Ahsoka Tano's lightsabers. And I'm making a special pen for, and possibly two special pens, because I'm a comic book nerd too. You didn't like Clone Wars until you saw the cameo? That's funny. Uh, Clone Wars is great, man. She's uh, annoying as shit for the first season, but after that she gets really good. Um, there's more Chestnut, so I'm just going to write on that one real fast. Now, I saw JW said something a second ago. I missed... I machined the bowl... They're working on it tonight. Come check me out. We'll get some detentions on that press. I'll start on it next. Oh, dimensions maybe? Or decisions? Yeah. I don't know anything about a pen press or how to build one. I need one. That's all I know. What do we got? Box Elder. Hey, I've heard about this. Oh, man, it's got pink in it. That's cool. I don't know if you can see it. It's got just a little bit of pink striping. I bet it'll be, actually it'll probably be really hard to see in a pen, but I'll do what I can to make it pop. I've, I watch, a, there's a show on PBS called The Woodwright Shop, and there's a guy on there called uh, Roy Underhill, and he's like the Bob Ross of woodworking. Dead serious, you should watch this show if you're remotely interested in woodworking, just go well, check it out. It's a PBS show, like, you can find him. Uh, anyway, he's, I learned from him that Box Elder is used in, a, or was used back in the day for making any tool that would have to be um, like scraped along something a lot and had a wooden front, it would be used. They would use box elder because it doesn't wear off. Oh yeah, the new season's gonna be sick. Will I paint the handles? No, 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 no. I don't. 
I'll paint some stuff. Like, I painted that, that Fallout rifle. Like, because it's green. <laughs> it's green and silver and stuff. But um, if I can help it, I'm going to use bright white wood and um, some gray wood. So maybe holly and myrtle. Something like that. Or box elder. Box elder is very white. But I don't have... These aren't big enough. Or maybe even just poplar. Poplar is pretty light wood. So I'll do what I can to make it out of just the wood with the natural coloring of the wood. Uh, so that's box elder. Is there any more of it? There's another box elder. Cool. Two pieces of that uh, with pretty nice grain in it. One of them's got that pink grain, which is cool. I'm looking forward to that, how, how that looks on the, on the lathe. This one has it too. It's just a very light streak. You, you really won't be able to see it on camera. Is it okay to use junk wood on crafts? Absolutely. Dude, my first, some of the first stuff I built, uh, I started off making minis. You should go way back in time and look at my very first YouTube videos when I was doing just silent time lapses on my phone because <laughs> I didn't have a setup yet. Um, yeah, I was using popsicle sticks. Like, you can use a popsicle stick. I made a sword, you know, little swords this big and axes and stuff. Uh, Star Wars or Marvel? I don't pick. I like them both. I, uh, Star Wars and Marvel are both my two top tier things. That and Firefly beats everything. But it's kind of hard to make Firefly shit. There's only 13 episodes. And a movie. Alright, this was, what was this? This is Box Elder. Box Eld. I gotta come up with better <laughs> abbreviations for some of these because I've never seen them. I've seen them, but I haven't had them in here. Right. For Marvel, uh, my go-to is just the X-Men. Like all of mutant kind is that's my people. Um, Bradford pear. See, that's weird because I've had some Bradford pear and it wasn't anywhere near this pretty. Look at this cool spalting in here, Johnny. If he's still on. I've never seen Bradford Pear do that. I can't wait for this. BF Pear. BF Pear. Star Wars or Marvel? I don't know, man. I can't I can't decide between those. Now if you said Marvel or DC, phew. It's now MCU or Star Wars right now. I okay, I am not a toxic Star Wars fan, and I hate toxic Star Wars fans. But the Star Wars movie universe lately has been fucking up. I'm sorry, there's been some good shit, but there's been some un okay shit. MCU has been pretty solid for the last 10 years. Like, Iron, some of the Iron Mans were kind of fucked up, but mostly. Lately, they've been really good. Black Panther was amazing. Oh my god, Endgame. Uh, I haven't seen Far From Home yet, but that was that was Sony anyway, right? So I had a Bradford pair, uh, Johnny, like a whole bunch of it um, that I took to a Milner, but he never he never sawed it down. That was like a year and a half ago, so I don't know. He's probably just throwing it away. What am I working on right now? Right now, in between projects, uh, I've got a bunch. Of Cooking. Uh, I'm gonna. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is probably. Uh, I'll just spill the beans. So I'm gonna make a pen for Chris Claremont. He's appearing at Oak City uh, Comic Con in Raleigh. I'm gonna buy a ticket on Saturday just to see him. I want to get him to sign a couple things, and I'm gonna ask him to sign it with a pen uh, that I'm gonna make out of Osage Orange with an Ebony X Men logo in it, and I'm gonna give that pen to him when I'm done. Um. You didn't like Endgame. How did you not like Endgame, man? Endgame was the shit. I don't know. That's messed up. The only thing that was fucked up was that, like, Luke Cage wasn't there. And Jessica Jones. And, I mean, they're from New York. Doctor Strange came from New York. He could have straight up been like, oh, hey, you four, <laughs> come with me. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't happen, but... Endgame was good, man. Uh, Lebowski Thor... Got some ash with a big old crack in the side. Like, it is cracked from there. Let's see if I can get this thing on screen. Oh yeah, you can see this crack. Look at this crack. All the way down. 
Come on, camera. Like, it stops about here. So, but it doesn't go through the other side. Hmm. Not cool, uh, bored toad. Can't use that. I'll use it for something else, but can't use it for a pen. So I got one good piece of ash. And then three, uh, is this Texas Acacia? Nope, it's cedar. Ooh, nice purpley. Look at that. I thought in-game ruined Hulk and Thor, so it was a turnoff to me. I thought they should have kept Iron Man alive and made him the new Nick Fury. Nah. Nah, that doesn't fit with anything, man. Um, the Hulk they went for was like the 80s uh, Secret Wars version where he was... Banner had taken over enough that Hulk was no longer a threat to everyone. Now, they went a little bit further with it and kind of made it funny, but that's really... It's just because they let um, Waika... To, uh, Taika Watiti, I can never say his name right. Does that crack make it useless? It does, really. Can you buy wood off of Amazon? You can. Um, if you're just starting, though, don't. Just use crap wood. Like, find a pallet. Or uh, uh, trees in the yard, like branches and stuff. Actually, like, go to malls and colleges and schools and businesses that have nice bushes and trees on their landscaping. And look around for limbs that have they've cut like look around for their burn piles a lot of times those are good hardwood fruit trees and they're just going to burn that wood um and then you can use those branches you got to let them dry out a little bit but that's where i've gotten a lot of my wood cut it into slices and laminate them with others yeah i could do that you're right i might make that the center or the outside of something i've got some um shit I forget what it's called now. There's some like pink and red and white striped stuff up there that I could use it with. Anyway, here's some cedar. This is the end of this box. This box is dragged on. That's good. It's fine. Um, the Iron Man turning into Nick Fury. They did really do that with Tony Stark for a while in the comics, so I can see where you're coming from. But the fact of the matter is RDJ is getting old. He can't stay cut <laughs> anymore. Um, and they just they wanted to finish up the phase with something dramatic so i get it it's cool captain marvel's gonna be doing badass shit what if my only wood tool is a pocket knife then you're all set to start whittling you can whittle and carve any number of things with just a pocket knife the next tool you need to buy is a whetstone or something to sharpen it with a whetstone is traditionally what you would use but you can use other things a dremel grinding stone um, and I don't, I'm not very good at it, but you can YouTube all kinds of amazing wood carvers. Um, Stinnet Sticks, S-T-I-N-N-E-T -N -N -E Sticks is this dude that carves uh, walking sticks, and they're incredible. And I really, I haven't watched a lot of his videos, I'm not going to lie, but uh, I'm pretty sure he's mostly just using a pocket knife and just whittling. Now, he's like 80 <laughs> or something, and he's been doing it for 100 years, but... Uh, you can whittle anything, man. Um, like, you mean what kind of wood or what kind of stuff? Like, what shapes to make? I'm going to mark these while I'm waiting for the lag to catch up so you can answer. These are cedar. Very pretty cedar. So, all in all, Board Toad. Pretty good source. Uh, I will hold up his business card, Uno Mas. So, anybody that needs some cool wood, go look him up. He's Board Toad on Facebook. Uh, tell him I sent you. Nah, I don't watch Joe Rogan, man. I, I don't care enough. He gets really political, and uh, I find that political podcasts are usually more annoying than anything else, so I don't fuck with him. What kind of shapes? Start off with... Uh, uh, like a snake. Make a snake head. Or a train. Actually, if you want to practice whittling, start with soap. I, uh, I'm i a den leader for Cub Scouts, and like that's what they start with when they're learning how to use pocket knives. So get a, get a bar of Dove soap and learn some stuff, because you don't have to push very hard, which means if you screw up and hit your finger or something, you won't cut yourself. <laughs> which means you won't... Um, you know, like you'll learn not to do certain bad habits before you hurt yourself real bad. So if you're if you're at all trepidatious about whittling, that's my recommendation is 
do it with the way the kids do. Just use some soap. And then move on to sticks. And just just make them sharp. Like, just, just have fun. Um, but yeah, you can YouTube all kinds of cool whittling stuff. I don't really know much about it. I don't do it. All right. Got another bag. So let's open this. Bad boy. Basswood is, yes. It's probably the next step after soap. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, oh, this is some pretty ass wood, y'all. I'm excited. I made the woohoo noise. Oh, Alright, do I start with this? Yeah, I'm going to start with this because everything else is saran wrapped up. Johnny, are you ready? Can you use the soap as a cast thingy, like to mold with? I don't know. Uh, I've never done any molding. You're asking me the wrong questions, bro. I don't... You're asking me all the stuff I don't know about. Let's go back to Marvel. I know about Marvel. I know I keep looking off to the side. I'm sorry. This is where my screen's at, so I can see there, and then my webcam's up here. All right, Johnny, get ready for this wood, man. It's... You're going to be upset that you don't have a piece of it. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this amazing-looking maple barrel, man. It's all stabilized. It is sexy as hell. Holy shit. And now i got to decide if this is one knife scale blank or two pen blanks. Mm. Give, me, give me your votes. I can make a really nice, like, a pen-pencil set out of Vertex. Uh, a, a Vertex pen and pencil set. It's one long blank, so you'd see everything. Um, and I can make a matching set. Or I can make, like, a really cool knife handle. So, comment with which I should... What, what I should do with this beautiful-ass maple barrel. And I'll hold it for a little while. And then I have a saran-wrapped package of other stuff. All of it with... Look at these professionally printed labels. Alright, I see you. Uh, this is Davis Wood essentials and they're from like Fayetteville I think Let me look at the return address yep Fayetteville North Carolina so I could conceivably go have a beer with this dude and it's all gorgeous I can tell through the saran wrap already listen to that oh man so Starting off with some spalted tamarind, which is just gorgeous. Professionally labeled, which is pretty cool. Um, it is bent, which uh, wood does that, so it's not like it's his fault. It's got a couple of holes in it, but I can fill those. And it is so many colors, and there's so much going on. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I don't have to label these, because they're already labeled. The other ones were already labeled, too, but it was in pencil, and I can't stand it when stuff's in pencil, because I can never read it. So this is also spalted tamarind. This is... Okay, they're both spalted tamarind, but this is a totally different color from the other one. Oh, there we go. should make a Buddha version of yourself. With, like the beard? A uh, cool hat? Like, fucking maybe. That's an idea. I think I've tried carving one sort of humanoid figure before, and it turned out really... Uh, funny. Um, a Buddha version of myself. Maybe. I don't know. Do you have sacred wood, like olive wood from the Holy Land? Uh, yeah, I've got some olive wood. I don't know if it's from the, uh, the Holy Land, but it's definitely olive wood. Stinks like shit. Sword letter opener with the wood burl. I could. I just did a butter knife uh, letter opener. Like, I took a butter knife and ground it down, if you haven't seen that. It's on my Instagram. I didn't do a video of it. Um, what percentage of the stuff you make do you sell? I sell all of it. Well... 
Except for, like, I make stuff for my wife a lot. My wife's really cute, and I love her a lot, so uh, a lot of times if I make something, she goes, oh, I really like that. I'm like, oh, well, it's yours then. I just give her stuff. So she's got, like, six pens that she doesn't need <laughs> and a bowl. She's like, I got bowls. I'm like, well, this one, you have another bowl now. I don't know. So other than that, yeah, I sell I sell everything. Um, or will sell everything. A gift, okay, I also make stuff as Christmas gifts to give to family and friends and stuff. Do you ever make boxes and burn pictures onto them? Um, no, two times. I haven't tried making a box yet because I'm real bad at... I don't actually have a tool that cuts straight lines. I know that sounds very stupid, but all I've got is a scroll saw. Uh, and it's not... They're for wiggly lines. They don't make straight lines real good, so... Uh, and I'm okay at wood burning, but not not sufficiently good enough to do, like, a picture. Um, okay, so this is Buckeye Burl. God, I can't find the camera. There it is. Nice. Autofocus kicked in on that one. This one's kind of small, but I can work with it. And Buckeye's got a, a nice gray color. It's got a little brown at the end, so that'll have, like, a cool effect. There's a knot at the other end, so that'll be nice. Cherry burl. Ooh. Definitely got some cracks. I'll have to fill those. But it works. I gotta go. You got my sub, so I'm waiting for that Mandalorian disintegrator rifle. Yeah. Uh, you just stand by on that one. It'll happen. I'm gonna work on it. I gotta figure it out, though. I do like that show, so. But thanks for stopping by, and I appreciate the sub. Share, too. Tell your friends. See ya. So, Cherry Burl. Looks pretty nice. Cracks. I don't like cracks. What is this? This has got to be dyed. So this is Spalted Tamarind, but it's it's red. It's bright fucking red. So I'm going to have to talk to him. I didn't specify no dyed wood. I don't like dyed wood because uh, if I've got red, I want to be able to tell people it's because it's red wood. Yeah, it says red on the end, which I think means it was dyed. Like he probably picked it. But I didn't specify that with him, so I can't be too mad. I might trade it with somebody. Oh, this has got to be a green dye or blue but this is ash ash ain't this color i just don't do dyed wood man wood already comes in so many colors there's no need to dye it like i don't need red dyed tamarind i've got red wood I've got padok i've got blood wood here's actual red wood i like just said that but here's some red wood it's brown but it's from a redwood tree. So that's pretty good. Wow. The grain structure on this is really weird. Like, look at how you can just kind of see it, damn it, right here, like these giant spots. That's really cool. Wild. All right. Box Elder Burl also died. Man, I'm kind of bummed. I really should have specified no died shit, but that's cool. Not his fault. A lot of people are into this. I just... I don't know. It bothers me. I've seen bright pink fucking wood. Uh, box Elder. That was Box Elder Burl. Cool. I shouldn't sound so disparaging. I don't mean to. This is all really nice stuff. It's very well stabilized. Um, and smooth. There's something to be said, man, for people that are prepping blanks, like, running it over a belt sander really fast so that it's smooth when the customer gets it is a genius. And this, I don't think that's what happens with, um, stabilized stuff. I think that it's just smooth because that's what the resin do, but it, it feels like it's a higher quality item. This is, what was this? This is ash. So, again, dyed. It's gotta be dyed. Because ash is not this color. But it looks really nice. And two more. Both spalted tamarind. Of various colors. Don't know what this is. 
color wise it's just all kinds of stuff and then this one is like a purplish oh it looks like he wrote two red slash green on here He wrote something. I can barely barely read it. Like, but that's cool. It looks purple. <laughs> so whatever he wrote doesn't matter. That's all. That's all that. I wonder if that's why that Kingwood looked like that. Because when I got it, it looked like it was pinkish, purplish. And I really thought that that was the color of the wood. I haven't turned it before, so I didn't know. And then I turned it, and it's this darker brown color like almost like tiger wood and uh it hasn't brightened back up yet like purple heart does once you're you know you leave it in the sun ah! something fell it's okay don't worry about it i'm over the moon about this this is nice it was real fucking nice i'm excited so that's that's that um who wants a shop tour Let's go on a shop tour. There's not much to see. You're going to have to excuse me while I unscrew the camera. No, you know what? Never mind. I'll just hold the whole mount like a selfie stick. <laughs> so, uh, there, there's not much, really. Um, we've got... I'll start over here on this side. Once I unwrap these cords and cables so I don't unplug myself during the stream. Right. Sorry. Uh, so here are uh, what I call wand stock or spindle stock pieces, or just semi-long pieces that I have to trim. I've got some uh, logs that I've trimmed and are drying right there. Here's my lathe and its setup. Uh, the mandrel's not up right now. It's down here. Uh, pro tip number one. I say pro tip as a total amateur, but... These are the uh, finishing sanding papers that I use, and I've got them. Uh oh, hold on, I got caught. Shut the fuck up, Andy. I've got them all labeled 120 through 2000, and I've got them split up into little things. And uh, I bought this thinking in my drawer would close, but it doesn't. But it's okay. I'll just take it out when I gotta close it. So there's my lathe. Classic Craftsman. Um, from like the late 50s, mid to late 50s. I've also, I have something, a, a modular shelving system that I use over here too. Well, we'll get to it in a minute, but all of these move or can come out. I'm not going to take it out right now because I've only got one hand. That'll fuck some shit up. But then I've got long stock. I don't have very much of that. I don't need it for what I do. Try not to hurt my uh, setup here. So here's all those uh, pen blanks I just messed with. And here's the one that fell. Belt sander scroll saw. This is stacked on top of a couple of uh, bins that are full of tarps and vending supplies and some other wood that is really just... I've got so, so much of that particular type that I don't need it out. Some scraps and crap back there. Here's a bandsaw, the blade on which is broken. Here's my chuck. Another table. Uh, my work table. I got odds and ends that are kind of all sorted by size or, or shape down there. A couple of uh, toolboxes and junk. Lots of, lots of just junky stuff over here. Uh, we'll, we'll point out one thing. These are all what I think are either basswood or balsa wood, and they came from a taekwondo studio where they break boards in half all the time. Uh, these are just sitting over here. I cut them up and use them for uh, jigs. I also got a box of wooden spoons, if anyone knows what the hell I can do with these. Uh, this is my main workbench. It is a total mess right now. I'm not sorry. <laughs> it just be like that. I keep all my cutoffs from pen blanks in here until I get a bunch of them, and then I glue them all together and make something weird. Popsicle sticks, pen blanks, and other small pieces of wood, all marked. Everything's marked as much as I can. These are, of course, longer pieces. 
shipping boxes, uh, just random shit, bigger boards, I don't know. Uh, here's my, my pen kit setup. All my bushings and glue and different pen uh, kits are in here. I just got all this organized really recently. That's kind of it. That's like the whole, that's the whole shop. This is all bubble wrap. It's not just trash. That's full of bubble wrap for, for shipping. My planner is under here because this is open to the weather. Uh, here's the signs. I ignore at least one of these. There's a clock and it's wrong. Box fans for the summer. <laughs> Brooms I don't use. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's the shop. I don't know why anybody wants to see this. Whatever. So, I'm going to turn this thing into a selfie stick now. There we go. So, I guess I'm done. That stream was fun, huh? I got some, some cues aid. Got some boxes und. My shop has been toured. I guess, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, so, I have been the Splintersmith. If anyone uh, is watching this for the very first time and you've never seen my face before, please do me a favor. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will have another Pens Day time lapse up this week. And then next Sunday, I think I'm going to try to make uh, a pen blank for Chris Claremont. And uh, wish me luck, because it, it's going to be hard. <laughs> but I have an idea, so hopefully it'll work. Mine's a mess, too. If it's not messy, you ain't doing nothing. Yeah, you're right, man. If it was clean out here, I'd feel bad that I was spending all my time cleaning instead of working. In fact, that's that's why it's at the state it's at. This is about as much cleanliness as I require. Plus, I got, like, new shit for Christmas that I haven't found a place for yet. I need to use this modular system, rearrange it so I have less room for some shit that I haven't needed to have room for before. But anyway... I was ending the video, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end. Uh, I've been the Splinter Smith, and uh, thanks for watching.